Okay, in this video, I'm going to give you the life hack to become super wealthy in cryptocurrency. Very simple. Do not sell your crypto. Don't sell your hex. Don't sell your pulse. Don't sell your pulse X. Huddle, right? That's the secret. Now, obviously, the strategies will differ, but that's just the core. That's just the core essence of, of what it is of how to become wealthy in crypto. Now, there's going to be massive pressure for you to dump because right now what we do have is we've got institutions coming in and they just don't want to come in. They want to crash the prices to the lowest and then they want to scoop up that cheap crypto and then they want to huddle it and then they want to dump it onto retail investors. So a lot of people will dump during this time of max max pain. A lot of people will dump and then they will buy back in at higher prices, which is another thing you need to think about when you're getting into crypto, that you want to be in those assets that don't have much institutional uh, institutional money in them yet, but have potential to grow massively. That's the recipe of making massive, massive amounts of money. Now, why do I say that, right? If we look at the institutions that are coming right now, BlackRock announced that they are uh, partnering with, uh, with Coinbase to buy crypto for some of their customers from Coinbase, right? We've got uh, other institutions getting into crypto as well. We've got JP Morgan has been in crypto since the very early days, right? I mean, they, it said that they were part, they were there when Ethereum was still an idea and they probably bought some Ethereum early on and have bags and bags of that. Now, we also have massive regulation coming with the attack. We've got the XRP case, the library case, and we also have another key thing, right? Gary Ganser, right? The SEC chairman is a former Goldman Sachs executive, right? Uh, Steve Mnuchin, the former U.S. Treasury Secretary, is a former Goldman Sachs uh, official as well. In fact, there's massive, massive amounts of regulators who are former bankers. So these people, do they have each other's back? I don't know, but I mean, they're obviously friends, right? So they're definitely going to want their friends to buy some of that. They may want their friends to buy some of that crypto on the cheap so they might want to spread fad attack as many crypto companies as they can attack protocols we've seen what's happening uh, with tornado cash we've seen what's happening with other protocols as well so they might want to do that and this stuff is to shake up the weekend those that dump are going to dump but long term they're going to lose out i think the best strategy to have right now is a five-year plan of, of how you're going to hodl through those five years or and if it is taking profits right it is let's say you have a thousand dollars and the, uh, it, it goes up 10x I think you should say that, okay, only I can only cash out 60% of my portfolio in the next 10 years. At least you know that that way you can pull out a lot of capital and still have a lot of money in as well. You put out what you put in and you, a lot more, but you still, as you still, uh, in terms of size, you're still a massive, massive whale. Think about it, right? Institutions are the next leg up because they are going to bring more retail investors. Now, they might obviously <laughs> do some dodgy things, right? Because I mean, JP Morgan, for instance, some of the executives, I think they've been fined for manipulating the price of, of gold. So they may want to start manipulating the crypto prices, which may not be good for retail, which is why I think it's also important to be in assets that don't have too much uh, institutional participation. Now, institutional backing in, in many cases, in, in, in many cases has been correlated with good price performance for the crypto, right? Because they come with uh, a lot of centralized ownership and then many times they have to invest their coins over time. But regardless of that, I do think that long-term protection you need to be in assets that don't have too much institutional uh capital in it right hex pulse chain they don't have much institutional action going on but the institutions are coming right we're thinking a hundred thousand stakers for hex a little over three hundred thousand for the pulse chain ecosystem which is good numbers but and a good growth rate right now unfortunately pulse doesn't exist yet so it is what it is but uh, richard Hart recently announced that we are months away <laughs> which in my in my opinion is a sometime this year right all in all i do think that the best strategy is uh do not lose your coins especially losing them to to fund lose your coins as a result of your own strategy your own cashing out strategy not because of the massive fear uh fear uncertainty and doubt attacks that will be coming on this asset class as a whole Anyway, guys, anyway, all in all, thank you guys for watching and let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below and I will talk to you later. Not financial advice again. I keep forgetting. <laughs>